when a person have a hematuria if it is gross hematuria the urine is like coca cola or mustard oil you do investigation because it has obviously an underlying pathology but in microscopic hematuria such as more than 3 rbc per high power field on two occasion in three consecutive urine test that means if microscopic hematuria it may or may not be pathological so you must confirm that the patient having microscopic hematuria it should be more than three per high power field rbc per high power field on two occasion within three urine test and if two test is positive then investigate okay so if a patient have hematuria first you exclude the benign causes such as menstruation it is easily taken from history uti it is easily taken from history such as uh, burning sensation urgency frequency foul smelling urine in case of lower uti and also low back pain uh, vomiting and fever with chill and rigor in upper uti viral illness exercise and mild trauma or especially trauma to the kidney uh, ureter and bladder region or urethral region this causes uh, hematuria temporarily and then resolves after treatment or few days okay so now the most important fact is this a patient having hematuria hematuria whether this patient have any malignant condition such as glomerulonephritis that leading to kidney damage within few uh, years or within few months so you must investigate for glomerulonephritis first line and then renal cell uh, renal carcinoma that means carcinoma of the urogenital tract uh, car carcinoma of the urinary tract that killing the people okay and then uh, some some uh, non essentially non significant causes such as uh, trauma polycystic kidney disease tb renal stone and coagulation disorder or arteriovenous malformation <clears throat> so these are the causes number one glomerulonephritis number two carcinoma renal cell carcinoma ureteric tumor bladder carcinoma prostatic carcinoma these all are the carcinoma you want to speak first uh, the the benign causes and then glomerulonephritis and then renal stone tb trauma polycystic kidney disease and coagulation disorder abm okay <clears throat> now uh, what are the what are the causes of glomerulonephritis here number one anti-glomerular basement membrane disease small vessel vasculitis these are two types uh, pmc that means pianka positive in microscopic polyangiitis and charles strauss syndrome okay pmc that is microscopic polyangiitis and charles strauss syndrome positive with pianka that means that means P Anka and C Anka is positive in Weissner's granulomatosis, CW, PMC and CW post infectious, uh, post infectious, especially after skin and throat infection uh, that is associated with post streptococcal glomerulonephritis, mesangio capillary glomerulonephritis, IG and apropathy that is that silently damages the kidney and SLE. Okay, these are the causes. Okay, look here the causes of glomerulonephritis syndrome this has been taken from davidson principles of medicine this number one sle sle causes nephrotic and nephritic combined but i am talking at first sle ig and apropathy then severe hemorrhage caused by anti-glomerular basement membrane disease and then small vessel vasculitis post streptococcal glomerulonephritis mesangio capillary mesangio capillary glomerulonephritis or mem membrano proliferative glomerulonephritis nephritis these are the nephritic syndrome and you know nephritic syndrome associated with inflammation and breaks in the glomerular basement membrane that leads to hematuria and you have to take family history from the patient of renal disease and uh, symptom uh, systemic disease such as SLE, vasculitis, manifestation of SLE and vasculitis and uh, associated with hematuria, hematuria with red cell, hematuria with, if hematuria associated with RBC cast, this is glomerulonephritis and dysmorphic RBC in phase contrast image is associated with glomerulonephritis. So now a CBC, urinary, 
then culture urine culture ultrasonography plain x-ray KUB serum creatinine EGFR IBU these are the initial investigation you will do in a patient with a uh, uh, hematuria hematuria number one CBC hemoglobin decrease in malignancy also decrease in SLE vasculitis hemoglobin increase in polycystic kidney disease due to hypernephroma and white cell count increase in infection platelet count decrease in blood discrasis and ESR increase in infection malignancy and vasculitis so these are the information gained from CBC and then urine RE RBC cast dysmorphic RBC in phase contrast image mild to moderate protein urea that is non nephrotic range protein urea found in GN so GN have RBC and protein or uh, and RBC cast or dysmorphic RBC when RBC associated with WBC cast or neutrophil and protein this is due to UTI and then uh, cytology especially age more than 40 and diagnosis is uncertain you will do urine cytology for malignant cell uh, for finding uh, uh, especially bladder carcinoma bladder carcinoma urine culture culture is bacterial culture you will find if you if it is positive if it is positive treat according to infection and if it is negative uh, and RBC and pus cell is present and few amount of protein is present but culture is negative then you give it for uh, microbial culture in Lowenstein Janssen media and AFB stain in <coughs> three consecutive early morning urine sample uh, concentrate for culture uh, for AFB stain and culture and then ultrasonography ultrasonography will give you in uh, give you information about renal cell carcinoma polycystic kidney disease tone hydronephrosis benign enlargement of the prostate or suspicion of prostatic carcinoma and cystitis then plain x-ray KUB it is especially done for stone or tumor obstructing the uh, urine flow in the pathway and serum creatinine serum creatinine EGFR albumin creatinine ratio BP PSA especially is more than 40 for carcinoma and serum creatinine EGFR ACR BP these all things done for glomerulonephritis and uh, IBU IBU for tumor or stone few special investigation cystoscopy plus minus biopsy in bladder carcinoma and CTKUB for tumor and stone CXR for tuberculosis serum calcium increase in renal cell carcinoma and decrease in prostatic carcinoma renal biopsy investigation for nephritic syndrome renal biopsy investigation for nephritic syndrome and GN so renal biopsy you will do when GN is almost confirmatory then I am showing investigation for GN this is taken from Davidson mm, so investigation of nephritic syndrome rapidly progressing glomerulonephritis that means a patient having serum creatinine progressively in very rapidly increasing associated with low urine volume and what fluid retention in the body so this is rapid, rapidly progressing glomerulonephritis you do post infectious ASO titer C3 C4 ASO titer will be high C3 C4 will be low due to consumption and then anti GBM disease anti GBM antibody small vessel vasculitis Pianca and Sianca I have already discussed lupus nephritis ANA anti DS DNA C3 C4 will be decreased mild glomerulonephritis nephritic presentation that means urine is uh, urine uh, no visible hematuria no fluid retention mild hypertension mild renal impairment and not progressing very rapidly IgA nephropathy is most common you do serum IgA poly polyclonal rise in 50% of patient mesangioproliferative glomerulonephritis mesangioproliferative glomerulonephritis you do C3 C4 hepatitis B C HIV serology and then Alport syndrome it is genetic testing and hearing test that's all thank you